This is such a specific ask visually to be like, okay, the city needs to sound like it's folding over. <laughs> you know, it's... Yeah, and it, actually this is the first bit of the film that I worked on. I was in Australia mixing a Pierre Weir film, the film that I did before uh, Inception. And Chris was working on the trailer here and they were gonna put this shot in the trailer. So he, he asked me to come up with some sound and over the course of you know a week in the evenings on my laptop, I made most of this sound for the really. Parish. I actually did. I had no idea how that, what that should sound like. Obviously, you know, and it could it could easily have been ten other things and been really cool. Um, did you at least have speakers, or were you working on headphones? Headphones, yeah. Oh my god! And do you think that version is is pretty? Yeah, it's it's the same. It's basically the same. We added details, a lot of details, but um, the base of the sound is the elements that I made. And do you remember like what you were, I mean, obviously we can check it out, but. Um, yeah, let's check it out. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's look at what's here. Let's, For this, sure. this is the scene first without, without dialogue and music. So th this point of the film, she's uh, she's beginning to figure out how to control this herself, and she turns out she's uh, um, a genius at it. And uh, yeah, this could have been very sound designy and spacey, and something in that direction could have been been done too. That would have been great. I wanted to keep it again within the philosophy of the crazier, more crazy the stuff you're seeing, the more real the sound should be. Right. Um, just to bed it in some sort of, huh, I don't know, to make this seem like like they're hearing those, the characters are hearing those sounds, not not just the audience. Like it's not just like a yeah. for the benefit of the audience or to match what, simply a sound that affects the moves, the specific moves. But I just thought, well, maybe it should sound like the biggest drawbridge in the world, like a massive just construction that, that is is creaking and moving and all the pipes underground and the you know catacombs and all the stuff that must be under Paris streets is kind of creaking around and also it's, it's in her her imagination in her mind uh i'm trying to think well what would it, if one actually saw this with one's eyes they're in, in a dream of course but they're seeing it with their eyes and marveling at it what would that sound like to them standing on the street and um you know, I mean, of, of all the choices, this is the one that I latched on, and, and Chris liked it happily. Uh, so uh, we, you know, we used this as kind of the the base, and then continue with that philosophy in the in the rest of the film, as the visual effects become more and more outrageous, and and the, the world just becomes plastic, um, keeping everything sonically very bedded in in reality i love how in the distance before you even see it you can hear the earth like heaving yeah it's just like uh, yeah she's, and then it kind of like releases and starts yeah she's trying to she's trying to uh summon it into existence you know yeah. to will it into existence and you know all the little detail sounds are included in there the the cars on the street in the above the yeah. upside down city and it obviously it looks incredible. Oh my God. Oh, yeah, it looks amazing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The visual effects in this are just outrageously cool. So, those are the cars. How funny. <laughs> Still just driving along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Ryan's off to the right. Yeah. Just like normal. Yeah. Yeah, again, <laughs> just because you can see the other people on the street, to them it is normal. Yeah. The other people in her Dream imagination. World. I mean, I like how you compared it to a drawbridge. Um, I guess you were looking for some piece of reality to this moment. Uh, Earth the yeah. structure. I was folding. racking my brain and yeah, right? I had no idea what to do. Seriously, you gotta grab onto something. And um I don't know. It just seemed like this was a way to go. And I'm really glad that he, that the director liked. Nice. I think I heard some verify in there. This, you might very well have. <laughs> it, it, there's even some uh, some gear movement, as if it's it is yeah. some gigantic uh, machine, machine, mechanical. But you know, without trying to be at all, um, what I say, literal. Right. Um, uh, but yeah, I heard some pew pew pew. Sounds like ice, like. People throw rocks on frozen lakes. Oh, huh, I don't know what that is. There, there was like a, it sounded kind of like cables, uh, like uh, Yeah, what would that be? That, the pew. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, that's twanging a, a fence, mm. a wire fence. Yeah, makes sense. Long piece of wire. I really had a good time working on this because I, I yeah. love making sounds for massive events. Yeah. And this You've done a lot I of those. Can't imagine a more massive event than <laughs> than this. Yeah. Um, and it looks so real. So you yeah, just have a blast like making uh, that. Yeah. Scene. Everybody on this film did a great, 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 great job on that scene. On the whole movie. These are some of those sounds that I mentioned. We the subwoofer in the room and shook the house. thing you introduced toward the end there. Yeah, this was a really fun sequence to work on. <laughs> I really had a good time. And it's nice. It's um, like, how many seconds is that? I mean, you know, it's uh, it's this nice contained moment. You can add an arc to it. And then within that, a million little, you know, yeah. ways to progress it. Yeah, yeah. And also, it's a surprisingly long event when you're trying to make it interesting in every moment yeah. and not just have a sound that does that, but try to have it somehow you know like a like imagine a big piece of machinery doing that uh it would have all kinds of different sounds at each step of the progress of its exactly. movement yeah um yeah we even have foley for the people on the streets 
Because sometimes, hilarious. you know, it, sometimes that stuff, one of the one or two of those little things can poke through, and it it just kind of it, it, it again adds to that to that uh, realism to that reality.